Hi, 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 hi. Hello, my dear students. Welcome. Welcome to the world of zoology. Myself, Dr. Sai from Zoology Wala. My dear future medicals, hope all are doing good. And now in this session, I'm going to explain you about different types of respiratory pigments which are present in the animal kingdom. Generally, the blood is red in color in vertebrates, but it is not the case with the invertebrates. In invertebrates, there are different colors are there in blood, isn't it? We cannot generally say blood is red in color in all animals. It is a wrong statement. There are the reason for different colorations of blood, definitely because of the respiratory pigment. And that respiratory pigment may help in transport of gases and generally may not help in transport of gases in some animals also, I will explain it. If you observe the different types of respiratory pigments present in the animal kingdom, something like hemocyanin, hemoerythrin, chlorochrorin, vanadium, chromazin, like that different pigments are there, that is the reason why the blood color may be blue or green or violet or purple like that. Another important reason for the coloration of the respiratory pigment, whether the respiratory pigment is present in oxygenated state or a deoxygenated state. This is also another important parameter why? because generally the respiratory pigment will be in one color in oxygenated state, will be in different color in deoxygenated state. Let us see the respiratory pigment briefly in this episode. The first one is hemocyanin. Hemocyanin is a the pink or violet color, I mean to say it is generally present in bluish color, bluish color. And in oxygenated state, it will be in blue color. In deoxygenated state, it is colorless. Where it is present? It is present in many mollusks. Many mollusks. Generally, for example, if you consider the gastropods, gastro means stomach, pod means foot. Foot is present over the stomach. Or even bivalvia, where two shells are present, called also called lamellae branchiata and pelicipoda like that and is also seen in cephalopods where the blood is uh, bluish in color. It is seen in arthropods also, seen in some crustaceans, also seen in arachnids, limulus, king crab, this is it, it's a living fossil and spiders, arana, it is also seen in spiders, spiders and here I have mentioned 100, 100 means centipedes, it is also seen in centipedes, 100 like this, okay. So these are the examples where there is hemocyanin is present. Another important character generally hemocyanin is present in plasma. The one of the important feature regarding the respiratory pigment of vertebrates. In case of vertebrates, the respiratory pigment is present in blood cells, isn't it? That is the reason why we are using the word red blood cells. Whereas in the case of invertebrates, mostly this respiratory pigment is present in plasma. It is dissolved in plasma. Okay, and here the respiratory pigment is present in plasma. And second one is chlorochlorin. It is also present in plasma. What is the coloration of this chlorochlorin in oxygenated state? In oxygenated state, it is dark green in color. And in case of deoxygenated state, also it appears in green in color, but like greenish shade. It, where it is seen? It is seen in annelids. Best example, best example, polychaetes. Poly means many, chete means a cete. In polychaetes, which is of course a marine environment, which lives in marine environment where the respiratory pigment is chlorochlorine, so blood is green in color in these animals. And the next one is vanadium chromosome. Vanadium chromosome is a respiratory pigment generally present in blood cells of eurocardids. You know, euro means a tail, card means notocard, eta means having, means in those animals where the notocard is restricted to the tail region in the larval stage, they are called eurocardids. In eurocardids, generally, generally, the respiratory pigment uh, is uh, vanadium chromosome, so it is green in color. See here I have represented tunicates. In tunicates also hemocyanin is present mostly, but I have not mentioned that point there because whenever we are using the word tunicate, we will think that the respiratory pigment is vanadium chromosome. But it was reported that many tunicates also exhibit hemocyanin like many mollusks and arthropods category. So vanadium chromosome is also seen in uh, tunicates. And in some tunicates, uh, there's hemocyanin is present. So many tunicates exhibit uh, hemocyanin in addition to many mollusks and arthropods. And now vanadium chromosome is green in color and generally in oxygenated state and in deoxygenated state generally it is pale in color. And we won't explain the deoxygenated state of this vanadium chromosome because of uh, the pigment's uh, low association and the dissociation properties. I mean to say, Regarding the dissociation especially, the constancy will be very less. Okay, so in association some more issues are also there. 
but in the latest journals also it was proven that it plays not that much association role in oxygen transportation so we cannot exactly say vanadium chromosome helps in transport of oxygen so let me constrain myself to the respiratory pigment vanadium chromosome is green in color and uh, in general it is pale in case of uh, the deoxygenated state where it is present it is present in tunicata the name was given because of hair in the tunicin present over the surface of body and these are also seen in acidians acidia which is also an europartate okay and it was reported even the coloration may be a sort of bluish or orange shade also and where that vanadium will be generally accumulated in the body vanadium Generally, animal takes the vanadium from the surrounding environment according to the report. Anyhow, that's all about this vanadium chromosome. Where it is present, this vanadium chromosome is present in the blood cells of uh, these animals. And next one is hemi-erythrin, which is also called hemerythrin. Hemi-erythrin and myohemerythrin. These two are the respiratory pigments and these are also present in the plasma barrier primes. Hemi-erythrin, where it is present and what about the coloration in the oxygenated state? I will tell you. So in the oxygenated state, the coloration is violet pink, something like burgundy color, okay, brownish shade also will be there. So violet pink, violet pink exactly, burgundy shade, brownish and pinkish shade mixing will be there. And in the deoxygenated state, generally it is colorless. Where it is present? Mazluna, which is an anilid. And it is also in brachiopods, okay, brachiopods which are very less in number as far as invertebrates are concerned. So in Massillon and Brachiopods especially, the hemi-erythrin is present. So the blood coloration is violet, pink in color. And the last one, but not the least one, hemoglobin. And we are quite familiar with reference to the hemoglobin, isn't it? What is hemoglobin? Yeah, hemoglobin is the respiratory pigment. And the coloration of uh, respiratory pigment, so-called our hemoglobin, our hemoglobin, because it is seen in vertebrates in the vertebrates, not in vertebrates, okay? So in, in vertebrates, the coloration is bright red in oxygenated state, in the oxygenated state is dark red in color. What is the reason for having the dark red in color? Generally, it absorbs yellowish and greenish color. Uh, that is the reason why the coloration will be a bit different in the oxygenated state, where it is present, as you know, it is present in Pisces, amphibians, reptiles, apes, finally, mammals. And that hemoglobin is an excellent carrier for the oxygen transport. And it is going to carry the oxygen from the source to the target. So from the lungs, the, the atmospheric oxygen, of course, the atmospheric oxygen enters into the lungs. From there, it will be distributed to all body parts with the help of uh, this great gentleman called hemoglobin. And in case of insects, such an important hemoglobin is absent. I need to say, for example, if you take the cockroach and insects, the blood is... Uh, not in color because there is no respiratory pigment that is the reason why the blood is colorless atmospheric oxygen is directly supplied to the tissues or directly supplied to the cells that is the reason why tracheate arthropods are very fast very fast are very fast arthropods are very fast insects are very fast because atmospheric oxygen is directly supplied to the cell and of course if you observe some invertebrates which are even li living in the deserts they are also very fast because of having the giant axons the diameter of axon is also very, very high as the diameter of the axon is more than the flow of current also will be very high in these animals. So there is a relation between resistance and cross-sectional area. I will explain the transmission of nerve impulse in my coming videos. It's all about these respiratory pigments. Hope you enjoyed. We will meet in the coming sessions. Thank you my dear friends. God bless you.